Hi again everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing another reading. This is the third of four videos on love, romance and relationships and this one is going to be about challenges in love. So what needs to be addressed, resolved, improved, worked on, healed or healed in a relationship or connection um, to make it stronger and happier or if you're single this is um, what needs to be addressed, resolved, etc. for you as a single person to help you um, meet your match, basically. So, as I've said in the other videos, and if you've watched any of the other videos to do with love and romance, you might want to skip through me talking about this because I'm just repeating myself now. Um, the reason I'm doing this video, the, the channel for me is mainly focused on our own growth, um, evolution, understanding but I felt like I'm holding back and resisting um, a part of myself in relation to like love related messages. Like sometimes I'll be doing a reading and I can feel a love message coming through and I kind of push it away. I'm not sure why I've been doing that, but yeah, I feel like I'm kind of restraining myself and I feel there's something in terms of messages that needs to be shared that could be useful to someone out there. Um, this particular reading and the other readings that I'm doing around this subject, I'm not going to say they're timeless, but it's based on your timeline and however it applies to you, if it does resonate, so it could be past, present or future. I'm just reading the energy. The readings are for people who are single, committed, everything in between. It's just if it resonates and if you get something useful from it. I wanted to do something a bit different on the channel, so I'm asking specific questions around love and relationships. Um, I wanted it to be purposeful, so it's something that can help us and support us on our path and with our connections. The channel is not suddenly going to become all about love. It's still about us, our growth, our evolution, our understanding, but we learn a lot through our connections with other people, whether it's romantic or non-romantic connections. Um, I'll repeat again, my biggest spiritual awakening was triggered by a romantic connection and it changed a hell of a lot about how I view myself, other people, my place in the world. It was literally like 15 years of growth and evolution in less than five years. So I absolutely cannot deny or ignore how relevant relationships can be to us. Um, and today, the first thing I thought when I woke up was do love reading. Um, so I planned in my head my approach and the questions I wanted to ask. And then I, I remembered at that time as well, the reading I did on the new moon in Leo last night, um, it was about dedication to truth, values and authenticity. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to be authentic. or well, not trying to be, I am. Um, I'm actually a Libra Sun and Venus, so relationships are always going to be important and very relevant to me. And I'm also a Leo Moon and Rising, and that is associated with romance as well. Um, in terms of astrology, we are still in Leo season, so there's a lot there about expressing from the heart, honouring yourself and having the courage to speak up. And also we've got Venus retrograde in Leo. Um, retrogrades bring a lot of things back up to the surface. Leo likes to shine, so... I guess one thing we're shining a light on is relationships amongst other things, or, or romance, should I say. Um, we've got the new moon in Leo as well. Um, we've also got North Node in Aries, South Node in Libra, and that can show us how relationships can support our path as well, how to integrate the self and partnerships in the best possible way. So, it's enough of the chatting. Um, the books you can see in front are some of the decks I'm going to be using for the reading, so... Let's get into it and see what the challenges are in love, whether you're in a relationship or a single person. What are your challenges and what do you need to do to make things stronger, happier? You know, what needs to be what needs to be dealt with and how hopefully it'll tell us how as well. So let's start off with a power of surrender card. Oh, actually, you know, I keep doing this. I prefer to do the um, spread first and then the oracle cards after. So I'm going to do the spread first. I don't know why I have to do it that way, but whenever I do the oracle cards first, it feels wrong when the um, cards come out for the spread. So let's do it the way I usually do it. So first of all, the main, the main heart of the matter. What's the heart of the matter here? What's the main challenge that we have in love? I don't like the way that came out and about six cards came out. So we're not going to use that. What's the main challenge here? The sun in reverse. Okay, that's... um. 
you know what that's making me think you know sometimes I, when people feel that they don't deserve to be happy or can't um they're not going to be able to find happiness that's what that's making me think of and it might not be that but or it could be not being clear about what we want and desire but let's see so what's your energy within this or in terms of the challenges what is your energy what energy are you bringing in terms of challenges in love again they keep flipping over really weird and lots of them are, um right we got it two of cups your energy i would say that means that you are you have a lot to give you're ready i would say just trying to make the blurriness go away uh let's look at any external energy so this could be if you're in a relationship or relationships in general what are your challenges in your relationships or your current relationship if you're single um what are the external factors affecting your I won't say ability because we all have the ability to find love but just impacting things when it comes to you trying to um find love lots have come out do I want to take them I'm gonna try that again because four came out that's quite a bit to try and decipher so let's try that again okay we have one ten of cups this is really weird <laughs> this is you know what I just did other two other videos what's coming in um, like potential romantic opportunities where is this going I thought those two would have been the lighter ones especially what's coming in and they were quite heavy this one about challenges now I would have thought this one would have been heavy and it actually um, the energies are lighter to be honest but we'll see so ten of cups for external energies what the hell is that so <laughs> I'm gonna get a goddess gods and guardians card um, Shall I do that? But no, let me get the rest of the cards out for the spread and then I'll, I want to get a God's Guardians and Goddesses card to see, to represent your energy and the external energy. If it's a person in particular, um, that impacts the, that has an impact on the challenges. Let's get the past energy first. Queen of Pentacles. This is strangely, um, this doesn't look like challenges, but I guess we'll find out. Current energy. Eight of Pentacles and the star oh lord this does not make sense i'm sure it will in a minute but it just doesn't look like challenges to me um right future energy or potential future energy in terms of challenges eight of cups not settling again i think um and let's do the advice four of pentacles there might be something here about opening up, possibly. Or being more open-minded. Right. So let's get, let's do this gods, goddesses, gods and guardians now. So I want a card to represent your energy in terms of the challenges you experience in love, whether it's in a current relationship, dating, or if you're single and want to, to meet your best match. you have light your fire you're ready basically i feel i really feel like you're ready whoever you are you're ready ready to go and you need someone who matches that yeah because two of cups is matching your cup you need someone who matches your cup basically let's look at the external energies whether it's a person or whatever else is um, involved in these challenges so ten for that ten of cups the external energies person or if you're single it could be the type of people you've dealt with before um what's going to come up for the external energy next to that ten of cups apparently someone who's invisible no visionary and new beginnings this to me the visionary card and I'm, I'm gonna do it with that I may not look up the meanings in the books but I would say it's someone who's quite open-minded and they might be quite quirky or they if not quirky they're able to um view the bigger picture yeah visionary to me is a lot about viewing the bigger picture and um but i would say very open-minded as well they've got a big wide open-minded perspective on life so i'll put that there I mean, the light your fire card, it is a bit of a free, she looks like a free spirit, doesn't she? And that might be something that you need to match your energy as well. 
or at least somebody that complements that. Let's get a power of surrender card um, in terms of challenges. Oh, do I want to take this? Surrender your desire to control people. I will take that. And I think I have an idea. Uh, shall we get one? Yeah, let's get one more because these ones aren't big meanings. That one, surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup and give the situation some breathing room. And the way, I mean, look at the matching red colours here in um, the Light Your Fire and Visionary. I don't know if I feel like that is literally about controlling people. I, I feel more like it's along the lines of being able to meet people who are on your wavelength. If you're quite a quirky, unique person, you're not the average. I mean, what is average anyway? We're all unique. But you know, when there's people further along the unique, quirky side um, than others, it might be that you've struggled to, to find people who match that. And I mean, obviously, you can't control people, but... I don't know, there's something coming around about that. And then the red stands out as well. I mean, red hair. Is that red, purple, whatever that is? The red hair is unique, isn't it? It's very unique. I mean, natural red hair. <laughs> How many people have red hair? There's just something big about quirkiness coming out here or uniqueness or free spirit standing out from the crowd. Let's get one more of these. I didn't realise that Queen of Pentacles, she got red hair. It's like brownish auburn coloured hair. Okay. Uh, right. Surrender to success, flu. You are ready to experience abundance. That's what I was saying with the two of cups and light your fire. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. I'm starting to think that the only or one of the main things that might be a challenge for you, say if you're single, for example, because I guess I'm going more the single angle, but I do want it to be about current relationships as well, just for everyone, whoever needs it is meeting someone that matches your energy, your vibration, your quirkiness maybe, that's starting to feel like the, the biggest challenge is, me, is if you're a very different kind of person, it's finding someone that matches that because with the sun there in reverse, I mean, I did say it's like thinking that you might not find love and if you are quite quirky, I mean, I'm, am I a bit quirky? Yeah, I guess so. I felt a bit weird all my life and a bit different. And I suppose I have, I've, I've, I've always sort of felt like who the hell would want to, you know, who could not deal with me because I'm not something to be dealt with, but who could, I don't even know what the word is. I don't even know if the word is match, but I guess that is the right word. Who could match this or compliment this, whatever I am, whoever I am, who can get that, get me. I think that's what it is. You want someone who gets you and it might not be someone who's exactly like you, but, um, I don't know. I don't know how to put that any differently. Um, I've also got now a heal yourself card. So what needs to be healed? It may be if you're in a current relationship, um, there is something where you're contemplating, does this person get me? Um, I don't know if I can see anything indicating that they don't yet. Although we've got the eight of cups, four of pentacles. That's about being yourself, isn't it? That four of pentacles, are you being yourself? That, Okay. That's just made me think the surrender to con um, your desire to control people. There's a reader that I watch um, that I've followed for years, Aquarian Insight. And one of the things she said is that a way that we control people is that we only show them what we want them to see. We don't show them our true selves because that's our way of controlling them because we fear if they see the real us, they won't accept them. So we're controlling their experience of us by only showing them what the parts of us that we want them to see. That does make sense. Okay. Right, heal yourself. What needs to be healed? As a chat, that's a challenge. What's a challenge that needs to be healed in love? Phoenix rising. I will have a quick look at that. I might not read the whole message, but I'll have a peek at it and see what the vibe is from it and shall I get one more yeah let's get one more yeah because these are the I mean I will use oracle cards at the end of the reading as well but these ones will be the main like the starters these ones do not want to come out do they okay there we go we have 
beauty and to me that that fits with that um with image isn't it i'm gonna i think i will probably have to read these at least these two from the um heal yourself uh even if it's only briefly so phoenix rising i will fix the cards properly in a minute i just want to get the messages get to the messages um, everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that has not worked in your life yet. And again, all of these messages, I've done three love messages so far, and it's all about dedication to your truth, values, and authenticity. And I'm getting authenticity here again in a different kind of way though. Um, the reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. Yep, the last reading I did, it was pure cards about cycles, <laughs> the love reading. Um, you may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. That's it, reclaiming yourself, reclaiming who you are. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can imagine. So let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. Yeah, that is why you would need a visionary. If you're a quirky, unique person, you need a visionary, someone that just can think completely think outside of the box um, to get you in theory. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Maybe you could be with, with someone who's very, I don't know what the word is, just your average, and I don't mean that in a criticism, your average person, but then there would have to be something in their mind where they get you. Um, so there would be a visionary in a sense, wouldn't they? Right, beauty. Recognise your inner and outer beauty. You are beautiful, special, unique and attractive. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and felt good about what you see? Did you know that your features can literally change based on how you feel about yourself and your life? Your internal experiences are etched on your face and your body. People can feel your energy when you enter a room. When a person who is not thought of as being physically good looking connects to their own inner light, wisdom and warmth, the glow that emanates from within makes them extremely appealing <clears throat> and attracts people and opportunities towards them. Focus on what you love about yourself and allow yourself to shine. If you are challenged by how you see yourself, this could be a perfect time for an internal and external makeover. I love that message. <clears throat> That's a, a, a good message. And it's not just about physical beauty. It's just, it's more to do with accepting yourself. It's, it's yeah, self-acceptance, self-love and appreciating yourself as well and seeing the, the beauty in yourself. Um, so let's move these. How am I going to do this? Let's put it under here. I think you are ready, but... As I say, you may be thinking, you have a lot to give and you're ready, but it just might be a case of, oh, I just feel like I'm so different. I don't know who who I could possibly match with. Um, so, yeah. And as I say, even if you are in a relationship, there's a possibility you may, you may not be being yourself or you, you may need that or you may have just sort of found someone who can offer that. Let's dig a little bit deeper and then we will be able to make more sense of it so let's clarify first of all that sun energy which i said is where you feel like maybe you can't can't find your full your complete happiness maybe you feel like you can't shine your light properly as well you're only like half lit if that makes that sounds like something else that was half lit um but yeah maybe you feel like you're only showing half of the light that you you could possibly shine but let's see let's clarify the sun in reverse I can't, I'm still shocked that this reading is so much lighter than the other readings when this was the challenge one. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out, but not quite. Okay, what do we get? We get Four of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. So the four of ones for me is about your foundation. And it can be about home as well for me. What feels like home to you? I say that. I do say, tend to say that quite often. The knight of ones would be someone who's not afraid of being themselves. They can, I mean, they can be to the point of being reckless, can't they? Um, 
And the page of sorts is someone who's still discovering themselves, aren't they? To me, like it could be their identity. I think it's more the Knight of Page of Wands who's about identity, but the Page of Swords is also discovering um, new thoughts, new ideas. It could be about their place in the world, who they are, um, their new truths. There's still more to be figured out here. Um, for you, probably for you to feel like you're shining your light properly. Let's get one more because we want to know how it relates to challenges. In, I mean, it is a challenging relationship because it's how you relate to people and you have to be able to be yourself or how you how you are affects how other people perceive you, don't they, and how your relationships work. Let's get one more for that. Sun in reverse. Oh, God, there's too many that have come out. Um, let's try that again. I just wanted one more. Just one more. We've got the King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands. I would say that you are probably working on yourself, but you've got that Seven of Wands there, so there's something that you might be hiding about who you are. Again, um, there's probably a lot of discovery involved and, and, and working on yourself and your foundation and what feels at home, but you're still probably trying to figure it out and I would say you're trying to protect it as well, and rightly so. If you're still figuring out who you are, you don't need other people, especially negative people who just want to put you down, sticking their two cents in or whatever, um, giving opinions about what you should and shouldn't be saying, doing, thinking, feeling, as people like to do nowadays, just shove their opinions down your throat constantly. Um, and again, I still stick by what I said originally about... Um, that sun card being maybe you feel like you can't be happy in relationships um or you, you're not sure if you can have complete happiness what does feel like this this is like a capricorn reading that i did and the, the words what feels like home to you maybe you feel like you can't find a person who like you can find people that you like maybe that you're attracted to maybe that you get in but who is it that feels like home to you and that can apply even if you are in a relationship as well. So that's a lot of clarifiers for that. Let's look at that Two of Cups. So again, I still feel like you're ready. So Two of Cups and Light Your Fire together. You want to find that matching cup, don't you? Seven of Swords. That could be a little bit about hiding yourself again. And, and that, as I said, I've said before in other readings, that Seven of Swords to me a lot has come up, that's come up quite a lot, is to do with um, not being honest with yourself rather than lying to other people. And I guess if you're not showing you who you fully are, then there is a bit of an element of lying, isn't it, really? Um, not in a malicious way, but omitting the truth, isn't it? Right, you have a king of wands there. Is that you? The, I'm looking at the king of wands and it literally feels like light your fire. So that could be your full potential. You're kind of hiding that full potential. It could potentially also be someone who sees your full potential as well. If you are in a relationship with somebody who really appreciates you. Let's get one more. Okay, we get two, we get the lovers. And we get the eight of cups. Passion um, and that strong feeling of connection is, I would say, is really important to you in relationships. You don't want to settle. And that came up in the last reading as well. I would say you kind of, for the most part, you know who you are. You know there's a lot more to learn. And you've just got a specific energy about you where you know what you want and what, even if you can't explain it in words, you know what you want that much to be energetically and you don't want to settle for anything less than that. Let's clarify that Ten of Cups, um, visionary new beginnings as the external energies. King of Cups, I feel like this is another person and it may be, is it someone you're already, already with, Ten of Cups? possibly um if you're in a relationship this may be someone that you're already with that feels a lot towards you and sees you as their happiness if you're single this could somebody within your energy field or someone who potentially there's an energetic match there but you may not have come together just yet 
we have five of wands this person may have had to overcome their own challenges um if they're quite quirky themselves either that or they see you as a challenge because maybe they recognize that you're hiding parts of yourself as well we've got justice that kind of wanted to come out so i would say they've overcome their own challenges too and it's possible that they have overcome their own challenges and they see you as a challenge strength yeah i would say they've overcome overcome a bunch of stuff and they're probably pretty confident in who they are Eight of Wands. Let me get another one for that. Eight of Wands. Two of Cups. Wow. If this is someone you're already with, they feel a lot for you. They're a strong person. They've already been through a lot themselves, but they, they want to move the connection along. If it's someone that you haven't, that you you know but you're not with them not involved with them romantically then they they think very highly of you they would love to be able to move things along with you they probably see you as a challenge um if you're completely single there's no one there whatsoever this is potential energy that can come towards you or if it's not another person if this is more a representation of external energies in how you get your happiness um then it would be about you being able to overcome the challenge of not fully expressing yourself and showing who you are and having that courage and then that will bring in the right person. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, uh, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. That's I'm getting sensible here, practical, sensible. The devil in reverse, strangely. Eight of so yeah, I was going to say, I mean, even though the devil's in reverse, I was going to say that Queen of Pentacles, there's nothing wrong with the Queen of Pentacles at all. She's great. Very stable, secure, balanced, etc. But that might be where you've you've put on an image of being just sensible and you've held back the quirkier parts of yourself. What flipped? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, that would be going. It's how do I explain that? That's like showing. It's trying to show a balanced <clears throat> side of yourself in the practical sense, like what you show people. You show, you're trying to show people that you are balanced, that you, again, holding back from any quirkiness. And you may have done that in relationships as well. Um, what do we have here? Six of Pentacles, King, yes, King of Swords. So in relationships, whatever you gave, you wanted it to, you may have wanted it to appear very logical, very balanced. Um, again, just holding back holding back who you are, who you really are, all parts of yourself. Present energy, eight of pentacles and the star. I would say you're working on yourself and that kind of showed up um, up here as well, didn't it? With that eight of pentacles and king of pentacles that you're working on, on yourself. Let's clarify the eight of pentacles and the star. Ten of Cups, I think you're very focused on, on getting your happiness. So as I said, if th this isn't another person, then that's your the energy of you trying to get your happiness and pull it towards you. Queen of Wands, she's not afraid to shine her light and be herself. Four of Cups there. You might be a little bit worried about the impact of showing every aspect of yourself. Um, and like I said in last night's reading, sometimes, although you want to be yourself, it's not... It's not as easy as just completely being yourself. There are people that you are safe to express yourself with and there are people who are not safe to express yourself with because they just want to push their negativity on you, put you down, um, demean you. They, they just don't get you and you can express yourself if you want to, but sometimes you will find that you just don't feel safe doing that with certain people and it's your choice. You get to decide if you want to if you want to go head to head with them or if you just want to walk away if you want to tell them to mind their own business you get to choose how you deal with it so four of cups yeah i was talking about um queen of cups in expressing yourself which that could be you the need to express yourself the other side of it would be you would want people to be 
nurturing and accepting towards you and that would be queen of cups energy and there may be worry about how being you in terms of being yourself are you going to get people who are nurturing and accepting or are you going to get people who just don't get it they don't get you i think that's something you're working on with the eight of pentacles and the star um you're working on on being the star on shining brightly and being who you are aren't you that sounds really cheesy Sounds like something out of a kid's um, nursery rhyme or something, but that's what I'm getting. Let's get one more for that. Knight of Swords, that's being truthful and honest um, about who you are, what you stand for, the Hermit. Trust their inner wisdom. And there was something in, I think it was the Phoenix Rising card about... Um, Sometimes you do need to isolate yourself to figure out who you are so that you're not getting other people's influences in there... Um, making you act a certain way, think a certain way, feel a certain way. You need Sometimes you need time to figure out, is this really me? Is this what I believe? I'm trying to see where the relationship aspect comes into this because it's not that much. It just shows, it's showing you as an individual and another person, if that is another person and not just you as an individual. So the challenge in love is probably more to do with yourself, how you view yourself than... Um, the other person because depending on how you view yourself and how you present yourself that's what you'll in theory that's what you'll get back eight of cups let's see what that's about that's future energy I always say it's not settling or often say it's not settling eight of cups or figuring out what's missing um finding what's missing yeah I think you're figure it's more figuring out in yourself and get into a place of peace, making peace with yourself and who you are. Because we've then got the Queen of Swords here and she just stands strongly in her truth. She she welcomes the truth in and she gives the truth. So I'd say that's about finding peace and finding the missing peace if there are, if you feel like there's anything missing or within yourself or lost within yourself as well. Ace of Wands, I feel like that's your your spark. Let's get one more. The Emperor. That's like taking control of your own life, being in charge of you of yourself, your sovereignty, isn't it? Okay, should I get one more? That's future energy, that's what you're working on now. Um, that's what you're working towards again. Oh, I can't really see much relationship stuff, just that there is a match out there for you, very likely, if you're not al already with that person. Um, that you can match with once you overcome all of your stuff. It's really funny, this one, challenges in love. I thought this would be more... I mean, I'm doing another reading, which is about a, one more relationship-based one that it will probably be more for people who are coupled up or based on past relationships. But I'm surprised this one is so individual. I mean, it's not a bad thing because it's necessary, isn't it? Anyway, Four of Pentacles. Again, I said that some, um, so it's advice. It might be about needing to open up. Um, Nine of Pentacles, yeah. That does, to me, it shows the advice is to, to not be afraid to open up. And again, use your discernment to judge where you are safe, who you're safe with, to express yourself. And the partner that you find, that should be a safe person that you should be able to to be open with and express yourself with and not have them put you down or make you feel like you have to shrink yourself so the nine of ones would be it's the struggle isn't it because you will get knocked back once you start being yourself there there are likely going to be people who who try to put you down at the very least aren't there seven of pentacles that's assessing whether it's safe or not to open up And what do we have here? We have the sun shining your light and the page of pentacles. You get to decide who you plant and you seed with. You get to decide if there's the potential, if it's worth it. I'll get one more, the hierophant. I feel like there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn from other people because the page of pentacles can be a student as well. There's a lot to learn from other people. There's a lot that you can share and, and teach other people. Um, this can be about your beliefs as well. Knowing where, where you will thrive and where your the things that you believe and the things that you want to grow and develop will thrive as well. Don't know why I'm getting that for that, but 
yeah. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can get any more advice from the power of love, Oracle deck. I'm not sure what I'm gonna um, call this reading, but it should be, I don't know, should be something interesting, hopefully. Probably something about quirkiness and visionaries. <laughs> Empathy. I think that's what you want, isn't it? I think you're fully capable of giving it with that two of cups. You probably understand other people and where they're coming from, but you want that from other people too, and you may not have had that much in the past. Kindness. You, you would want people to be kind to you and to accept you for who you are. You are a humanitarian and that's why you you understand the whole concept of em empathy isn't it shall we get one we'll get one more because i'm not going to read the from the book for this the last one is present you live in the moment all right and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances um the only way I can take that is that you're just dealing with things day to day and, and growing, um, learning and growing from your experiences. Yeah, the bottom of the deck is responsibility. Um, so you are taking responsibility for your own growth and evolution. Let's get one card from the Le Vampires deck. This should be interesting to see what we get from this deck. Let's find out. So final message for what the challenge challenges are in love, what needs to be addressed, resolved, improved, worked on, whether you're in a relationship or connection or as a single person. Although this is feeling a lot more like a single person, but we'll see what we get. Maybe let's get a message for single people. So challenges in love for single people advice. Oh, wow. Look at that. Free will, sovereignty, independence, free spirit. Oh, my God. And this number, I swear to God, that number 23 has been haunting the shit out of me for two months or so. Every minute, all I can see is the number 23. And even in some weird ways, like a piece of a lost piece of paper, like when I've been tidying up and it's got the number 23 on it or receipts with 23 on the clock, addresses money everything 23 um i have looked it up i think it's to do with being on the right path spiritually which is what most of the numbers are about anyway but i swear to god every minute that number 23 is haunting me um but yeah that's amazing that is that is exactly the point of the message in it so that's for um and it does apply to to um people in relationships and connections as well but that was the main message we got for the single people. So those in relationships, connections, what's the message of challenges to overcome or how to overcome them in relationships? Oh my God, the Phoenix Rising is 32. So it's like mirroring, isn't it? 2332. I mean, I don't, I'm not that deep into numbers, but when a number haunts me the way that number 23 has, it's like, I can't avoid it. <laughs> Okay, for people in relationships or, con or connections. Uh, we have call for help, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. And I feel that is more about admitting who you are really. Um, recognizing where you feel safe who you feel safe with admit your needs I'd, I'd say that's the main message admit your needs don't hold yourself back in relationships don't pretend to be someone you not or feel like you have to shrink yourself shall we get one more for the relationships since that's oh god more <laughs> slightly ambiguous i'm gonna take those they did fall out but don't trust them one more is there anyone people do oh god loads of them keep falling out now Okay, I am going to take these and it's only because I can see the messages are completely relevant. So this one, transmission, spreading of conditions, influence, impact. That's where people um, 
following the crowd kind of vibes or just going along with the people with what the people in your life want so going on their journey rather than your own journey that's what that one's about so be careful of that in relationships uh, we have ecstasy yielding rapture bliss now that card from past experience of reading about it it's about surrendering um to someone and letting them letting them take care of you and letting them take the lead and show you pleasure and again that goes back to that whole thing of who do you feel safe with who do you feel that that can accept you as you are and nurture you and and take care of you not just try to change you control you etc and then we have natural authentic real organic which is what i was talking about being authentic being yourself so there we go that was quite an interesting read oh, on the bottom we have i've just looked at the bottom of the deck and we have rebellion upstart tumult revolution that's where you're a bit quirky isn't it or a lot quirky however you want to put it so yep that's the read those are the challenges in love although it looked mainly like a single person's read but it's still useful it should hopefully be useful messages anyway even in a relationship i mean that surrender your desire to control people about only showing parts of yourself so that people you're controlling people's experience of who you are that's really important so feel free to share your stories leave your comments if you feel it resonated thank you for watching and take care